Today I'm going to show you how to install ELS aka Emergency Lighting System 1.0.5 created by Lieutenant Kane. Big shout out to Lieutenant Kane. I'm going to make this tutorial a simplifi simplified version that includes a trick for learning the ELS keys quickly. ELS is downloaded from the LSPDFR website lcpdfr.com and there will be applicable links in the description. Go ahead and uh, download that. Okay, so the one that uh, that I'm showing and that I'm featuring is this newest one uh, the, on the bottom here, 1.0.5, and so you're not going to download the other one. After that, you can go to your downloads and you will see um, ELS, it's an RAR file, so that means that you're going to have to have uh, something like um, WinRAR or 8-Zip Lite. I'll try to put a link in the description, folks. Um, their Microsoft Store does have free stuff for opening RAR files. Once you open it, um, these are the ones that we're going to do, we're going to do documentation, extract, desktop, select folder, and then we're going to do the install files. I right click, uh, I clicked extract, click on desktop, select folder. So this is what we just put on the desktop. Now we can work with it. So here's the install files. And they're probably going to all be locked. So you, um, you're, they might automatically get unlocked or you can do it now. Just you can right click, go to properties, unblock, apply, and OK. And you can go through and do that to all of them. Um, I've already done that, so. Next, all you want to do is. Open up your uh, GTA 5 main root directory. So I've got a shortcut. Uh, on the desktop here for um, GTA 5. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to open file location. That brings me right into the main root directory. Next I'm going to click this up arrow and here let me try to drag this down where we can see it better. So I click the up arrow and now you have a choice. You can drag and drop or you can copy and paste. I, I copy and paste so and I do them all at once. You can do them one at a time. But uh, copy, and then you want to paste it into um, Grand Theft Auto 5 folder. Uh, there's one more thing you need, and uh, it's listed in the documentation here. So, user guide. I think he also has a link in his. Um, on the uh, website, L L LSPDFR website. Uh, I'm pretty sure Lieutenant Kane has a link there as well, but there's a one more file you're going to need. I'll show you. Or I think it's actually two files. Here it says requirements. Now, a lot of you are gonna, already going to have Visual C++, um, especially if, you're, if you've got GTA 5 up and running. I think you're going to have that already. But um, so you, you you can probably ignore that. If you could look under your computer under applications, you, you can see it if it's in there. And then, um, but this is what you're gonna have to install here. Um, click here and download that right there. And it's a new version. It came out on March twentieth, two thousand twenty-one. So his links um, give updated stuff. This is updated, so I was wrong. I, I thought that um, a lot of Lieutenant Kane's hit that this was out of date, but it's not. 
So then that we're gonna go to um, downloads again. Here, script cook v. This time it's not an RAR, it's a zip. So you can right click, go to properties. I've already done it, but you can go unblock, apply, and then OK. And then you want to um, right click again, extract all, browse, desktop, select folder, extract. So I'm going to extract that to the full desktop, and that way I can work with it now. And it, it came as uh, this and this. Um, so it gives you a readme, but I'm just going to show you what it says. And now we already unblocked these. With the zip, zip folders, you can unblock the whole thing all at once. It unblocks everything in it. So we're, everything's unblocked. And now here's what where a lot of people might get messed up. And this is controversial. It's questionable. I don't recommend using this native trainer. So I'm going to delete that. I, that could mess your game up. Um, the, the recommended thing that, that is recommended now is the Rage Plug and Hook menu. F4 on the keyboard, which is already built into LSPDFR. That eliminates the need uh, for a trainer. Prior to that, you used to need a trainer. But trainers caused problems with certain scripts and stuff. Anyway, uh, so I don't recommend that. You can remove that. You don't need that anyways, I just explained. Now we're going to go to the fo open file location again for um, GTA 5. And that brings us into the main root directory when we click on the, uh, the game shortcut. We're going to do the up arrow again. Same thing, we're just going to... You can drag and drop or copy and paste. You can copy and paste one at a time or do them two at a time like I'm doing. Paste. And I've already got them in there, so it's asking me if I want to replace. And so that's it. ELS is uh, is installed. Okay, the last thing that we're going to go over is a trick for learning the ELS keys quickly. And it's very simple. In the um, documentation that was included, we're going to open it up. Now a lot of people just look at the user guide, um, but if you look at the default controls, this is what I recommend. It makes it the easiest, and you can see here everything's listed. Um, it tells you on the keyboard the key and what it does, and you see you can go down and there's a lot of keys, and they do all different stuff. Uh, we control this different siren tones, different uh, light patterns, and stuff like that. You can um, raise and lower. Uh, arrow boards on um, like trucks and stuff like that if trucks are uh, equipped with EL ELS and so there's a lot that you can do um, what I recommend is is write write down uh, on a piece of paper um, the ones that you you're gonna want to use in the game unless you want to try to memorize it and that's it uh, I hope this helps you out thanks for watching